sectionals resumed today around the state. At the Harrison sectional, the Raiders were looking to win back-to-back -back titles, and they would have to knock off the McCutcheon Mavericks for the second consecutive season. Last year's rivalry game ended with a 3-2 Harrison win in overtime. Out to Harrison we go. We pick up the action in the first half. McCutcheon's Rachel Williams booms this kick, but there for the stop is Harrison's Jesse Geisbauer. Game scoreless at the half. Second half, Allison Boardman fires, but once again, Geisbauer making the diving stop right there. Then Harrison's Katie Musi chases the ball down. She makes the attempt, but McCutcheon keeper Ashley Reed comes up with a huge stop right there. In the end, though, the Raiders, they get on the board first. Riley Bouguet rifles this kick. It hits off the top of the goal and in. Harrison takes a one to nothing lead, but McCutcheon would tie this one up. The game would again go to overtime and penalty kicks. And it's McCutcheon who pulls this one out 3-2 to two in PKs. Congratulations to the Lady Mavs on their thrilling sectional win. West Lafayette and Northwestern squaring off this morning. Red Devils senior Katie Bittner trying to extend her season for at least one more week. Haley Karpik with a great pass to Bittner. Katie got a good look but comes up wide left right there. Red Devils aggressive early. The 27-minute mark. The Red Devils get on the board. Bittner with another good look. And Laurel Fricker does the rest. She gets the goal off the deflection. 1-0 RDP. Moments later, Bittner adds on. West Lafayette led this match 2-0 at the half. Congrats to the West Lafayette Red Devils on their sectional championship as they win 4-0. In boys soccer, it was a chilly morning out at BC for Faith Christian and Carroll. In the first two minutes of the match, Eagles have a penalty kick and Jared Shum converts for a goal for Faith. Their fans loving it. 1 0 Eagles. Carroll on the attack in the first half. The Cougars get a great look, but the shot attempt goes wide. Still 1 0 Faith at that point. Eagles with another chance midway through the first half. Daniel Rausch centers the ball, and Brennan Argo is there for the shot attempt, but can't get the foot on the ball correctly for the Cougars' goal. Carroll gets a second. Half goal from Justin Willoughby. This match also went to overtime with the Cougars winning by a final score of 2-1, to one, capturing their first sectional title. Lafayette Jeff and McCutcheon battling for the rights to a sectional title tonight. First half, Jeff's Hector Rosado Sanchez fires this attempt, but there for the stop is McCutcheon goalkeeper Quentin Perez. Game stays scoreless. On the corner kick, McCutcheon's Evan Nolan Gives the Mavs a chance for a goal. It ends up going off the head of Jeff's Alvaro Navarro and hits the goal post a little closer than the Broncos wanted there. Jeff still trying to get on the board. Alex Baker rips this kick, but it, the attempt goes wide left of the goal. McCutcheon ends up winning this one as they beat the Broncos one to nothing. Congrats to the Mavs on claiming the sectional title. A few high school volleyball scores. To pass along from the Hoosier Conference Tournament, CC, CC finished the day 2-1 with wins over Twin Lakes and Tipton. The Knights finished third in conference play. The Benton Central Bison also finished the day 2-1. They picked up wins over Delphi and Tipton. However, in the championship match, West Lafayette wins two games to one, and they are the Hoosier Conference champions. And that'll do it for sports. We'll be right back after this quick timeout.